Hello beautiful Aries friends, welcome to 2022. This is a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's take a look and see what the energies are for you this week. Let's see what is at the bottom of the deck after we cut. All right, let's see. We have nice energy, temperance, Sagittarius energy, really balancing things out, making things work. It is Jupiter, it's good fortune, it's being grateful for a love relationship that you have. You know, you can be married, you could be in any state of your relationship, but there's a lot of stability in this relationship at this time. So let's look and see what your energy is. Okay, coming into the reading, your partner's energy, the actions that you are going to likely want to take this week, your partner's likely actions that they will want to take, um, what is hidden in the relationship that you, what you don't know, and then your short-term short outcome, okay? So let's go ahead and see what we have. So your partner's energy, your energy, I'm sorry, is the justice card. Staying very balanced, being very fair. So very Judge Judy, Libra energy. It's all about the partnership, making it work, doing what's logical, doing what's fair. I love this energy. It rules the seventh house of marriage. You are headed and bringing energy into your relationship currently that really helps you sort of be your own inner therapist, being very fair, being very balanced. Your partner's energy this week is that of the warrior. He's beating his chest. He wants to hunt you down. He wants to throw you onto the bed and make love to you. Your partner's feeling feisty, very good about themselves. They really see the energy that you're bringing to the table. When we look at the Leo King energy, we are really looking at someone who wants to be a protector. They have a lot of pride and they want to protect you. When we look at their your actions, we see the Ace of Pentacles making a very grounded offer, you know, just coming to the table, playing it in a very honest, straightforward way, bringing your values to the relationship. When we look at the Ace of Coins, it is a new practical beginning of being really grounded. I love this energy for you. When we look at the, your partner's energy, we see the Ten of Swords. So we're looking at your partner really just getting over a period of time in which they have felt that life was not going well. When we look at this, we see divorce certificate. So what we see is a partner who's finally walking away from a troubled period of time in their life, in relationships, sort of giving up the ghost, feeling finally as though the worst is over. They're walking away from any feelings that are negative, any feelings that would take down the relationship. So overall, I like that energy. We see the energy that is hidden between the two of you is a death card. So you are having a death and rebirth, and I feel as though you are have been acting in a very responsible manner. I feel your person has let their pride get in the way. You probably came very close to a breakup. I feel as though the two of you are rebirthing this. And look at the lover's card is your outcome. So let's clarify these cards for you and get more information. I like this energy, Aries. It's very powerful this week. So let's see. Let's get energy about you and your ability to be in the energy of this to, excuse me, justice card. New glasses. <laughs> They're not working very well. Okay. So I see you really looking at things from a more balanced perspective. Before you were short, sort of taking a wait and see attitude, but no longer. You also understand ways in which you contributed to chaos or conflict. And we also see you really offering that cup of love, the page of cup, a new beginning, 
the really the the sweetness the kindness that you came into the relationship with when we look at the ace of coins you are making them a substantial offer you're giving them your very best self you're stepping up you're in this very nurturing very strong energy of leadership leading the way ascending to a higher level of success in the relationship and we also see again this page of um, this page of Pentacles energy I like it page of Pentacles page of cups you're just taking it a day at a time a step at a time and you're rebirthing that relationship both of you are let's look and see what the king of wands energy is all about for your person this energy of the warrior beating his chest, wanting to make you his lover all over again, making the choice to really be in this relationship, choosing you as his partner. You are the ship that has arrived in the harbor. The Mother of Wands, Aries, there you are in your reading. Mother of Wands is a queen of wands. They see you as fiery, as beautiful, as everything they could possibly want in a relationship. We see the Ten of Swords they have recently gone through in this relationship, uh, feeling as though you stabbed them in the back, but as the relationship is rebirthing, you know, you're very balanced. What we see is your person really seeing the deep level of friendship that they, you've given them. They see, I would say that your person has some toxicity though, they do bring this energy of devil energy. This is the action that they're taking. They're not quite as free and as healthy as you are, but that happens in life, in love. The Capricorn energy, the devil energy. There is some sort of, your person's a little bit controlling is what I see. When I get devil energy, I get someone who likes to be in charge and they aren't always very realistic about what's healthy in a relationship. I feel as though your person's been divorced, maybe, you know, had a really rough time in relationships. They see you as their best friend. They still don't have a really clear cut idea, but they have fire in their belly to do the work. So that is worth a lot. When we look at this view, the death card is death and rebirth. And we have all these green butterflies of new growth. So let's see what we have here. Nine of Cups, eat, drink, be merry, enjoy life, celebrate. Oh my God. The Nine of Cups, one of the happiest cards in the deck, it's your wish fulfillment as a couple. What you don't see here in this relationship. Ten of Coins, a legacy love, a possible marriage, bringing everything, wealth and abundance and security to the table. And the five of coins coming in from out of the cold. Both of you have left each other in the cold in the past through some sort of conflict. And now we see you coming in, rebirthing, building stability, having joy and happiness. What do we have here for the lover's card? The lover's card is here twice. That is always making a choice, choosing your beloved again and a rebirthing of a relationship that has struggled. We see the energy is a three of swords. There has been someone else who has interfered in the relationship. We can see the goat energy. It's most likely on your person's side. Oh, we get the three of swords. Tell us more about this energy. The Okay, so we have the Libra queen. So the two of you are coming back together as your outcome after what was really a perilous time when their tempers flared. This is a tower. It's Aries energy. Aries, you may have really been very unhappy about something to do with it. when I get the mothering card I think of children but I feel very much that your person is dealing with a lot of darkness you have recognized that uh, but I do see that the two of you have had some sort of fights or disagreements over a third party again when I get Libra energy you're very balanced now so I do get that it could be a child let's look and see what the destiny is that you are seeking at this time in this relationship what's the destiny you're seeking great adventure take a risk venture forward so you know you like to have fun you like to have adventures you want to live a very happy grounded life of stability and within that you want excitement 
your person is coming in is desirous of being a wise leader. Now, I have to say this straight up, that I feel as though you're the better leader because we have the King of Pentacles. Your person has Ten of Swords. We have... We also have the Devil card and Nine of Wands. So I feel that your person does have fire in their belly to do the work. Let's see what this person needs to know. What do we need to know about the Devil card? I'm going to get a different deck here. Let's see. What do we need to know about that Devil card? What do we need to know about Ten of Swords and the Devil? Let's combine those two with a clarifier. We get the Lady of Sorrows just as I thought. Your person has been living in the past. They somehow held you accountable. They showed their big behind to you. And they really do see you as the lady of song, the lady of happiness, the lady of joy and brightness as their dear friend. Let's see what the energy is here to clarify this five of coins. Why did you both feel left in the dark and in the in sadness, rebirthing the relationship to build a legacy. Look at this lady of faith. That is the energy, Aries, that you've brought in to the five of pentacles. You had faith in yourself. You had faith in them. You had faith in the relationship. And for them, your partner sees you as the joy of the future. Excellent excellent energy Aries the three of swords tell us about this three of swords tower energy we have tink Ooh, tink tinker bell is like the fairy that won't grow up this could again I feel this is a child with that mother card look at that kind of snippy kind of snotty hands on hips you know tink can be a lot of fun but not when they're causing division strife and trouble the song. They want to be heard in some particular way. They want to be seen as much more mature than they are. Tell us one more thing. We get that this person sees themselves as a very exotic unicorn. I just think that your person has a child that is, once again, sees himself as very exquisite, but all the other fairies are standing around going, what's going on here? So that is what I have for you at this time, Aries. I love this reading for you. It speaks of a great way to start the new year. Take care. Thanks again. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. That's the only way the video get will get popular on YouTube. It's the only way the channel will grow. So if you are um, interested in supporting me, I would so much appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.